There are three ways to go about creating a timeline in PowerPoint. Creating one from SmartArt, creating one from scratch using shapes, or using a slide up lift template. The main ingredient of a good PowerPoint timeline slide is using SmartArt. The SmartArt button on the insert tab in PowerPoint. In the choose a SmartArt graphic gallery, click process and then double click a timeline layout. In the SmartArt dialog, the process category includes two specific timeline graphics, plus other process graphics that can also be used to represent a timeline. Click text, and then type or paste your text in the SmartArt graphic. You can also open the text pane through the SmartArt Tools Design tab and type your text there. Open the SmartArt Design tab. To add an earlier date, click Add Shape and then click Add Shape before. To add a later date, click Add Shape and then click Add Shape after. The Add Shape menu allows you to specify where you want to insert another shape in your SmartArt graphic. In the new date box, type the date that you want. On the timeline, click the date you want to move. Select the timeline date. To move a date sooner than the selected date, click move up. To move a date later than the selected date, click move down. On the SmartArt design tab of the ribbon, use the layout gallery to select a different design for your graphic. Click the SmartArt graphic timeline. On the SmartArt design tab, use change colors to select a different color for your graphic. You can even place your pointer over any combination to see a preview of how the colors look in your timeline. A SmartArt style applies a combination of effects such as line style, bevel, or 3D perspective in one click to give your timeline a professionally polished look. And that's the final look of our SmartArt timeline slide. Next, we'll show you how to build this timeline slideshow in PowerPoint using shapes. This way you get full control over the timeline's design. First, open a brand new presentation. Add a new slide until you have a total of six blank slides. On the first slide, go to insert shapes and pick a rectangle. Add one that's as tall as the slide and is 3 fourths of its width. Move this shape off to the side so that it only covers about one third of the slide. Now add another similar rectangle or duplicate the shape and shift it to about one centimeters away from the previous slide's edge, like so. You can also choose to duplicate the shape if you wish. Then change the color of the slide through the format shape options. Repeat this process until the number of shapes matches the number of points in your timeline. We've gone with five shapes for five points. Next, select all the shapes and change their color to white. In the Format Shape menu, under Shadows, change the color to black and increase the transparency to 60%. Set size as 100% and blur 21 points. The angle should be zero degrees and the distance should be three point. This gives a 3D look to your shapes. Next, in the line menu, pick no line. This makes the edges of the shape seem softer. Now it's time to create tabs for each shape. Let's add another rectangular shape that's as wide as the gap between two shapes. Make sure it's vertically aligned to the center of the shape. Next, extend the first shape a bit further into the slide. Move the rectangular tab to meet this new edge. Select the tab and underline options, choose no line. Move the next rectangle closer. You duplicate the tab and fit it to the next rectangle edge. Repeat this process for all the big rectangles. These will make up the body of an arrow. Next, we'll create the arrow head by inserting a triangular shape. Position it like this. Then select the triangle and click on Edit Points. Adjust as you'd like. Send the triangle to the back. Just look at how the 3D overlapping effect comes together. Now it's time to change the colors of the arrow. Select each shape and change its color in the Format Shape menu. Make sure you keep the arrowhead and the adjacent rectangles color the same. This will make the arrow look seamless. 
Now, it's time to select the entire set of shapes. Copy it using Control C and paste it on the other five slides using Control V. Now open the second slide. Move the arrowhead and the first large rectangle towards the right side of the slide. Now repeat this step for each slide so it seems like the arrow is moving to the right bit by bit. Next, we'll apply a morph transition to every slide. This will add a smooth flow to the shape's movement. Let's quickly take a look at what that looks like. Looks great. Now it's time to add in our text. In the insert menu, select text box. Add in your text and adjust the font, size, and color to your desire. Add another text box right below this. Make sure you use the hierarchy design principle when doing so. Check out our video on design principles for more. Next, add a line from the shapes menu. Position this between the title and subtitle of the slide. We're also changing the color of the keyword in the title of the slide to bring the audience's focus to it. Now repeat this process for each slide. Now label each section of the arrow by inserting a text box and rotating it 90 degrees. Since our timeline is in years, we're adding in years like 2020, 2021, and so on. But you can also add in months or milestones if you'd like. Just keep the text short to maintain a clean design. And that's how you create a timeline from scratch. The third and easiest method of creating a timeline in PowerPoint is by using SlideUp Lift's timeline presentation templates. Simply head over to slideuplift.com. Search for timeline and you'll be greeted with a wide range of options to pick from. You can even find the animated arrow timeline template here. Pick one that you like and download it. Open it in PowerPoint, fill in your content, and adjust it. You've got a timeline presentation ready to go. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Slide Uplift. You can check out our channel for more PowerPoint tutorials.